guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with episode number 27 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. And this is the final episode of Barclays Premier League action for this first season as Chelsea boss. Now we've still got the FA Cup final to come and the uh, the Champions League final to come as well. But this will be rounding up the uh, the domestic league situation for this season. Now, as you can see, with three games left, we're sat second. But we do have Spurs behind us, two points behind with a game in hand. So we're going to have to keep up our run of decent-ish form to uh, to maintain that position second behind the runaway champions Manchester City but uh, we were doing okay in this game against Norris they had the first chance and this was going to be a case of uh, them just frustrating me more than anything else it was a real struggle to get past them we had chance after chance but they were very very resounding their defending and we were going to have another chance here SEN this is like the second or third chance of the game, we're only 12 or 13 minutes in. Diego Costa gets through, hits the underside of the bar and can't get to the rebound. And unfortunately, they are going to scramble it clear. So we stay at 0 0 for the time being, pushing on just past the half hour mark. And it's actually Gary Hooper that breaks free here. Question a handball there as the ball pops free in the box, but it doesn't matter. Nothing's given. He squares the ball to Leroy for the cheap man's. Yaya Torre as he's been dubbed in uh, in his first season in the Premier League actually puts Norwich 1-0 up and we weren't able to pull back level until after the break as you can see we go in 1-0 we go in 1-0 down at half time but we're going to fly at them again second half lovely ball through to Diego Costa breaks the offside trap quite clunky with his turn but still a decent shot but unfortunately it's well blocked by the, by the flying defender and now that was more often than not the case they just threw people in front of the through people, through people in front of the ball time and time again. This time Oscar breaks who tries to knock it over the top of John Ruddy and unfortunately he's able to get on the end of the save and they will scramble it clear yet again. It's always a long ball out. The computer doesn't make take any chances at the back. Very rarely do you see the computer passing it about at the back. They just hoof it, get it out, get it away from danger. But Diego Costa breaks through here. Nice turn and a lovely finish to round off a quite nice passing move to give us uh, something to build upon for the rest of the half. Just before the hour mark, so this half an hour left to try and get ourselves a winner if we could do just that and just a few minutes later there comes another chance this time it's De Chilio, the wing back breaking into the box question of a penalty there was it a tackle was it a pass not really too sure but nothing was given again and unfortunately nothing came with the resulting corner either but De Bruyne plays in Diego Costa again quite clunky with his movement but plays through a nice ball for Michael Essien again question of a penalty there out muscled off the ball unfairly so I'll let you decide in the comments below but Diego Costa misses the follow up chance puts it wide of that far post and we're now 10 minutes till the end of the game two thirds of the time remaining is gone Diego Costa again this time with another shot and again John Ruddy comes up with a save they're keeping us out we're into the 90th minute now time is almost up Sammy Leto breaking down the left stands the ball up towards the back post up goes Diego Costa finally in the 92nd minute we get our goal we go in front with practically the last quote unquote kick of the game although it's a fantastic header from Diego Costa beats the defender at the back post and we are going to pick up the three points crucially crucially in our crusade towards second in the table we come up against another tough opposition in the next game but as you can see it's nothing more than we deserved from this one 12 shots 10 on target and only the two goals but two goals were enough for us to take the three points so we get another tough opposition actually Sunderland fighting for not really fighting for anything actually they're they're above safety but um, not really fighting for anything towards the top of the table but you'd be surprised how much you know how much pride can uh, can spur on a team give a team confidence when you're fighting just for the love of the shirt so we need to be on our best yet again as you can see we now have a a lead over Spurs of four points they still have that game in hand but even if they win it they cannot come close to us so well, we're in a good position and uh, after um, after not really building too much or not really scoring too many after chance after chance in the first game with it was a rotation side as you may have, told, may have been able to tell from uh, from the players on the pitch but we're back to a full strength first team three minutes in 1-0 up nothing to worry about here and it was Ramirez to get the goal and if you remember in the last episode I questioned his uh, his kind of worth to the team how Arturo Vidal had come in and basically taken over his role as the impetus in the midfield from that holding role and he proves me wrong just three minutes into this game in his next appearance absolutely fantastic from him nice to see that sort of response from a player as well to kind of you know really take on what I'd said and uh, try and you know prove a point that uh, he really is part of the team 
and a valuable member of this first eleven squad. But Andre Scherler, he did that against Marseille, cut inside and whipped it tops, and he's done it yet again. 37 minutes in, we extend our lead to 2-0. Lovely turn inside with a step over, sells himself and just picks his spot. Goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. We take a 2-0 lead. We're into the second half now. Again, it's Ramirez doing the work in that middle uh, spot. He's going to get the assist here, slotting through Juan Mata, sells himself. Another player that hasn't really done all too much so far this year but gets himself a goal here. he's kind of chipped in with a couple of goals recently notably against Real Madrid to get us through the uh, the round of 16 in the Champions League did pop up with one against Marseille and of course putting us 3-0 ahead here against Sunderland they were going to pull one back though nice goal actually Lee Catamore does the goalkeeper with the eyes you think he's going to pull it across to the bottom corner he doesn't he stands up into the top right it may have been Jacarini in fact with the goal not Lee Catamore was my, uh, my memory just kind of catches up with itself but Fernando Torres is going to break free here Play the ball round the corner to Andre Scherler. He's going to cut inside. Lovely Ronaldo chop. Unfortunately, the ball's going to uh, kind of sit up and he isn't able to get his second of the game. But the goalkeeper tips it over. And you may have guessed already that we are actually going to score a fourth from this. Juan Mata whips the ball in. Up goes Rafael Varane. Wonderful header to give us a 4-1 re. 4-1 lead and a regain that three goal advantage so a goal difference is very very nicely boosted by a win here by a big win and we still get the maximum points so we go into the last game of the season and we're having to play a rotation side again the same one that quote unquote struggled against Norwich because of course we do have the FA Cup final coming up just round the corner so I want my first team players ready for that as any manager would do so uh, we're coming into this one against Cardiff you'll be able to tell from the the, uh, the, the league table that's going to pop up on your screen exactly what the situation is going into the last day Spurs won their game in hand they're a point behind us if we win we finish second if we don't win, we stand the chance of dropping to third. So three points is everything against Cardiff here. And I was hoping that, uh, that this team was going to be able to create as many chances as they did in the game against uh, in the game against Norwich and hopefully take more of them. With uh, De Cilio had the first ever there and actually cannoned off Oscar's face before going out for a goal kick. But Diego Costa is going to cut inside here after uh, breaking wealth down the uh, the left hand channel. Plays the ball into Kevin De Bruyne. Great shot. Hits the outside of the post. Oscar's there on the rebound and it's again similar to the Norwich game a defender throwing himself in front of the ball that stops it from ending up in the back of the net the corner's going to come in they try and clear it it's Kevin De Bruyne again and for a second time in short success in the young Belgian he's going to find himself thwarted by either the woodwork or the goalkeeper but he's involved in the build up here just before half time plays the ball round to uh, Willy Ann via Lampard great shot but unfortunately it's straight at the goalkeeper so uh, disappointing not to uh, not to be 1-0 up at half time but at least we're not behind like we were in the Norwich game so we've got the impetus in the second half we've had the chances we're going to go into the second half looking to improve our position and hoping to come out with the three points to guarantee second in the table but Mark Schwartz has to come out and make a uh a convincing save and a smothering save at his near post to keep them out and actually it wasn't until late on that we got another chance of any particular note Samieto come on from Diego Costa and I just don't know how he's not put that header in the back of the net honestly three yards out from goal just put it anywhere but straight at Joe Lewis the goalkeeper and he doesn't he puts it straight into the keeper's arms it was a tame header as was that one from uh, from Nicky Maynard he'd just come onto the pitch had the final effort at the game and we only take a point so what is going to happen towards the league table are we going to finish second behind Manchester City are we going to be best of the rest or are we going to find ourselves sat third we'll have to wait and see as you can see we've got £11 million from the board as a bonus for finishing wherever we finished in the league as you can see the next game is the FA Cup final which will be a live com as will the Champions League final which was the game after that but the moment of truth where did we come in the league flip the screen Chez third Tottenham won their final game of the season unfortunately so we do only finish third in the league table despite only losing three games those early draws the early run of dodgy patchy form has cost us when it comes to the final standings but still third is decent it's a good finish only one point behind second and no one was getting anywhere near Manchester City this season so we've still got two cups still to fight for we could still come away with a cup treble this season so do be sure to hit that subscribe button down below in the description or the little annotation on screen to make sure that you don't miss out on the cup finals that are coming your way over the next couple of episodes of course feel free to leave this video a like if you could be so kind that would be absolutely superb and uh, i will uh, leave an annotation on screen as always to the previous episode over that little snippet of gameplay you can see there but that's going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching we'll have the fa cup Cup final as a live comp for you tomorrow so that is going to bring this one to a close thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time